All right, you've had a little bit of time to go ahead and work on the starter today. Um, obviously, we're starting out with a calculation involving mass and moles. We're going to do more of that today, uh, as well as some of the characteristics of uh, reactions and some practice writing reactions. All right, we're going to switch over uh, to my iPad so that I can walk through some answers with you. All right, here we go. All right, so the first one, I wanted to know about two and a half moles of H2O. Notice that that abbreviation MOL is what we use for MOLES. So we're just, uh, that's the standard abbreviation for moles. All right. Uh, students sometimes ask, can we have decimals of moles? Yes, we can. So 2.5 moles is fine. All right, H2O, we have two H's, and we have one oxygen. And if we look over to our periodic table, uh, hydrogen has a mass of one. We're going to round it to one and oxygen right there has a mass of 15.999 and we're going to round that one to 16. All right, we'll keep that in mind. Zip back over here. So that was 1 plus 1 plus 16 is 18 grams for one mole. Okay, if it is 18 grams for one mole, we're going to multiply that by two and a half. So 2.5 times 18 grams is going to be 45 grams. And so that first one is false because I suggested or wanted to know if the answer was 42.5, and it's obviously not. All right, number two. I want to know about a synthesis reaction, and a synthesis reaction has one product, okay? That's how we know what it is. That's what you're always looking for. That is the pattern. It can have two or more reactants uh, and involve metals, nonmetals, all different uh, elements, but it can only have one product. That's the pattern. All right, number three. I want to know about diatomics. Remember, there are seven of them. And they are starting with nitrogen element seven, N2, O2, F2, Cl2, Br2, I2, and H2. And so what I'm going to switch out of green. We've been using that in the last week. Um, so we know hydrogen, yeah, that's one of them that I suggested. Nitrogen is another one I suggested. And phosphorus is not on our list. So it was just those two. Number four, we're going to write a reaction here. So number four, I have aluminum and oxygen. So I'm going to write the reactants. That's always our first step, aluminum and oxygen. Our second step, step two, put them together. Which one comes first? Aluminum does because it's furthest to the left in the periodic table. Notice I'm leaving lots of space there so that we can add numbers in a little bit. Step number three, diatomics. Okay, there it is, oxygen, walking by itself. It's got to have a little two behind it, so we'll put that in there. The other oxygen is over with aluminum. So it does not need a two for diatomics. We'll get to the numbers over there later uh, in the next step, which is coming up right now, because now it's time to balance the molecules. We have aluminum oxide as a molecule. Aluminum is plus three, oxygen minus two. So the balanced molecule is going to look like that. Now we've got to go ahead and balance the entire reaction. So I'm going to put some lines in front of those. 
Oxygen, we have two of those on the left and three on the right. And so when I think, okay, what can the common one be between two and three, it would be six. So in order to get six oxygens on the left, I need a three there, three times two is six. I need a two over here because two times three is six and that produces four aluminums on the left. So it is four, three, and two. All right, the last ones. Number five, I asked you to put together something between boron and nitrogen. I don't really care which one you decide to put first. Let's put the nitrogen first this time just to be different. Okay, there they are. Those are my two reactants. That's all I told you. I'm going to put an arrow in there. That's our produces or yield symbol. Notice again, it's always plus on the left side. All right, now it does make a difference. Which one comes first? Well, boron is furthest to the left. So it's going to be boron and then the N. Okay, now I have to go back. I have to look for diatomics, nitrogen over here on the left side. Yep, that guy traveling by itself, it's diatomic. I've got to have a two right there. Boron traveling by itself, but it's not diatomic. And on the right side, nitrogen is over there, but it's traveling with a friend already, so it doesn't need a little two. Okay, so let's now, step number four, let's balance the product and the molecules. Boron is plus three, nitrogen minus three. The numbers are the same, so they cancel each other out. And so it's just BN boron nitride on the right side. All right, one last step to go, step five. And we have two nitrogens on the left, so we're gonna to have to have two on the right. Now we have two borons on the right, and we need two on the left. So one, two, and two are the correct answers. So be sure that uh, uh, you submit that into Seesaw, hit the green check, and it helps me to know how you're doing if uh, when you get to the answers, if you're making some corrections, let me know how you're doing uh, so that I, I know how to help you better. So at any rate, here are all of the answers for today's starter.